and we are back with part 12, I think. So, here comes the hard part. What are we going to be levelling up now? Dexterity? No. Vitality? No. Endurance? No. Now we're going to be levelling up faith. And we will be levelling up faith a lot. And you might be starting to piece it all together. Actually, I think I've already mentioned outright what we're going to be doing. And there's my friend Mike sending me a message. So... <laughs> I hope I'm ruining a video. Oh, on the contrary, you're ruining uh, all videos or something. No, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah. So, my friend Mike is like 20 foot tall or so, which is always fun. But we won't pay him much attention. What a sneaky plan. I do not approve. So, we've leveled up, and we're going to level up some more. We're going to be leveling up Faith for a while, but uh, hey, that's life. <laughs> that is life indeed. So we're going to warp, so now that we have the Lord Vessel, we can warp between bonfires, and we are going to go back to Firelink Shrine. Now why on earth are we going here? Oh, you'll see. You will see soon enough. And look who we have here. Well, fancy meeting you here. You did much for me up above. I am grateful. You know, I was thinking the gate, the old fox. Is that your doing? Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, am I fortunate? This idea of Katarina thanks you sincerely. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. Yay, we don't need or want that, but thanks. There you are. I'll be heading down below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to check what the next part of his quest is. I think it's in Blight Town, but we'll see. So, no more Lautrec, and, let's see, examine, return her soul, and, ta-da, and now, Thank you. I am Anastasia, of Astora. Now I can continue my duty as a keeper. But... I only hope that my impure tongue does not offend. Forgive me. I am impure. My tongue never intended for restoration. Please, if you have any heart, leave me be. I wish not to speak. So it seems either she or someone else pulled out her tongue. But why? And uh, uh, I, you know, we're not going to talk to him. I don't like talking to him. Instead, we're just going to go hop like that. Don't need no gross serpent. And frankly, how would you rather get somewhere in a serpent's mouth or falling down and like bouncing? Exactly.
not actually seen any of those places yet, but it's possible to visit them and you'll find they are blocked until you place the Lord Vessel. So, 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 so. Oh, let's see if, yep, here we go. Hello there. I was expecting you, as promised, I... Hmm. I'm afraid that you are unable to learn sorcery. The basic framework, you see, it cannot be taught. Oh, do not fret. Life isn't all about sorcery. You will find your own way. Don't frown with regret. Peer forward with your head. Oh, hello again. I was waiting to tell you. Master Logan has returned. I know. And he tells me that he has... He's just over there. No. Um, well, let's... Fatty's still over there. Ugh. Ugh. Go away, Fram. You sorry, fool. Shut up. You could not be the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a shit about you, Fram. We might be a sorry fool, but... You know, we're wearing golden pants and you're like a big dangly serpent. Which I think means we win. And yes, this is the catacombs. Combs, combs, stuff. And what are we doing here? Getting smashed by that guy for starters. Hop. And yes, I'm just running through because can't kill the skeletons at the moment. And I think it's a good idea to wait because... <laughs> uh, if you come here before you have the Lord Vessel, which you can, there's nothing to stop you, but I like being able to warp out because it's, uh, I'm lazy. Oh my god, are those insects on the wall? That is so gross if they are. They are as well. Look at that, that's disgusting. Low res, manky. Oh. I, don't, I hate bugs. And, and spiders. Just no, just no. Let me think. I could go through like the whole place. I really could. What? Why is there a summon sign? That is weird. I'm gonna summon him just because that's weird. People never summon in the catacombs. I mean, they don't put their signs down. It's weird as hell. But hey, it's probably gonna fail. And now that I've said that, he probably won't. Uh. Yep, I'm being pretty stupid doing this. But hey, it never hurts to have help. Unless it's like really stupid help. So these skeletons, you can't kill them permanently unless you kill their um, casters, I guess. Or if you have a holy weapon. We don't have a holy weapon. Yet yeah, summoning failed, not surprised in the slightest. I'm trying desperately to remember where to go, because I very rarely go through the whole catacombs. Catacombs. God. Now these guys are pillows, so we're gonna... Stop spinning! Oh, you little... You little shit. Die, 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 die. No, 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 no. No. Sivermont doesn't want to die. He doesn't want to bleed either. Oh, God. <laughs> this, this is... No. Oh, God. There's millions of them. <laughs> Fall off the edge, please. That would do us a great favour. No, no! Move you prick. Let's, let's try and kill this guy. Now, all the skeletons, please fall off. 
No, 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 no. Why am I doing this such a stupid way? Oh my god, why am I getting stuck? No! Oh, I hate getting stuck in a corner. <laughs> and that was entirely my fault for rushing. But, we killed all the, uh... We killed all the retards, pretty much. Ah! Now I need to waste another humanity. This is entirely the fault of me not having a strong weapon. I mean, yeah, I can backstab them great, but that's absolutely worthless when you're trying to kill a couple of enemies who are surrounding you. Longsword is good for that, but mine is very weak. Well, it's not very weak, but it's not, not strong enough. Yeah, we're going to keep running, because this time we can actually kill them. Gonna get our souls back if we can, which we should be able to. So they're just down here, I believe. And now we're gonna fight our way out. I wish they would just fall off like good little skeletons. Good. Now we'll activate that. We could kick them off. Maybe we should do that. The problem is, I can never remember where the hell to go. Good, he fell off. Oh, I remember now. Yes, I remember where to go. What? That was like a multi-dimensional parry. Oh, okay, our longsword's doing alright against these guys. That's good. Uh, do we want to... Is this the right way? No. <laughs> no, it isn't. What's down here? Oh, I hate the catacombs. Coombs. I'm... Oh, what do you know? And you know what? There's another bonfire here. We're going to use it. And we're going not to human yet, but soon. First off, we're going to have a look outside. Because um, I'm wondering where this waterfall is in, in regards to Bling Link Shrine. Ah, uh, no patches. That's okay. If you come here early, Patches will be here going, being a chav, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I'm quite curious as to where this is in relation to Firelink. You can't really see up very well. That's no problem. You can get through the catacombs in, like, seconds if you just jump. Like, jump from here down to there. Or something like that. Or jump from higher above. But what we want is... Blimey. I keep forgetting we have, like, no resistance to blood loss as uh, we're basically naked. Okay, we're not basically naked. What? Oh. Jesus, I forgot. Ah. Uh. These guys do not respawn. I hope I'm right when I say that. Yeah, good. Uh, they don't respawn because of the what do you call it? And we're going to pick up a miracle in here just because we can. Come on, die, 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 die. Can you climb ladders? Come on, can you? Oh, they can as well. No way. No. No. Oh, oh. Jesus. He, he's stronger than me. No. 
No. Yep, that's right. Fall down. Run away. Ow. Yay, that's what we want, and now we're going to take a little shortcut over here. And from here, we're going to take a shortcut. Oh no, we can't. Because... Ah. Because I want to show off all this... Yeah, okay. No problem. Another reason I'm trying to be human is I'm trying to show off all the unique invasions and unique summons. You just hear them bouncing along behind me like little turds. I hate skeletons. I hate wheel skeletons the most. You know what? Yeah. We'll just level up whenever we can. We only need 12 more points. That's, uh, yeah, that'll be okay. Before we do the Lord Vessels, the, like, souls for the Lord Vessel, we will elongate every word and pop. You know what? Let's go and check out the Grave Lord Covenant. Because we might as well do it for the achievement whilst we're here. And man, that guy looks pretty spooky up there. And. There's actually a unique attack for this thing. If you nestle here and another player hits you, they get like a special animation, which is pretty cool. But, uh. See, this is one of those things that's so random. It's like wait in a coffin for 30 seconds and you can join the Covenant. Like, what? Reminds me of that, uh, Castlevania thing, you know, crouching in the corner. If I remember correctly, in this upcoming cutscene, for like a blink of an eye, you can see a skeleton's face being all spooky. Oh, <laughs> you know what? I'm stupid. You need to have eyes of death in your inventory for that to work. Uh, duh. There's actually eyes of death there, but mm, nah, we won't. We won't bother. This part's going to be long enough as it is. So now we're going to fight a very easy boss, like ridiculously easy. And his name is Pinwheel. But first, let's summon Paladin Leroy. Now, I don't think Paladin Leroy is a reference to Leroy Jenkins, but he might be. I don't personally think he is. Yes! Leroy! Probably the most powerful NPC summon in the game. Which makes it comical that you summon him for the easiest boss. Where are you at, Leroy? My boy? Now, uh, beat the shit out of these things for us. Because I don't want to. Go on. Pummel them, Leroy. Bash. See, 861 damage. Jesus. He hits, like, multiple freight trains that have been fused together. He's just ridiculously powerful. And he can heal himself. And he likes walking like a dipshit. So we're gonna try and uh, lure Mr. Black Knight. Oh, God. This is why I hate wheel skeletons. Come on, Leroy. Wet. No! Leroy! <laughs> Smash it! Smash it for massive Soviet damage! Or don't. Come on, Leroy. I'll do it. Oh man, we've not got much in the way of Estus. That's not good. 
Pinwheel's easy, but... God, I hate those things. They just do such ridiculous damage. At least they're not red, like, black phantom glowing red versions. That would suck a lot. And there's a blacksmith over there that we can't really access, but whatever. No, didn't mean to do that. Okay, come on, Mr. Black Knight. He can drop one of my favourite looking weapons in the game. It's also a really good weapon, but I don't like to use it because it's like often associated with like a scrub weapon because a lot of people use it just because it's so powerful I use it because I really like axes axes just look cool and this axe is very cool oh well Leroy doesn't want to help us that's okay we don't really need his help Eh, he didn't drop it, but we weren't going to use it anyway, most likely. Uh, so let's hurry up as we're running out of time. This part's going to have two bosses. I know, what madness is that? And, uh, well, let's hope that we don't screw up here. I, if I die on pinwheel, I'm just going to... I'm not going to delete my character, but if I wasn't recording, I would probably delete my character if I died on Pinwheel. Pinwheel, a very creepy and perhaps tragic boss. He's been stealing the power of the Grave Lord. Does that mean he's been literally siphoning it off? Or does it mean he was a Grave Lord and then he just, like, ran off? Hard to tell. And if you listen to the music, and I'll be quiet in a moment so you can, it sounds like someone is chanting, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, over and over again. So, have a listen. Okay, I don't know if you can really hear it or not. Uh, <laughs> Leroy is trying to hit them with one hand, which he can't do. But it was funnily enough still killing them. Man, just wait until you can see the damage Leroy can do. If he would actually hit them. I don't think he wants to. And you know what we can't play about as we have no Estus. But yeah, we're doing this much damage. And see, look at that. Leroy just flattens them. But yeah, Pinwheel is actually three people stuck together. But yeah, now he's wrecked. Mm -mm. Dead. And now we have the right of kindling. And Mask of the Father. Stupid looking item that we're not going to use. Uh... You know what, we're actually just going to Homeward Boner out. It would have been really clever to go further into to into Tomb of the Giants, but this part's going to be pushing it in length, as it is. So, now we are on our way to get a multitude of items that we want. And need. Well, okay, we don't need them, but hey. And then that will be this part done, and then, uh. Yeah, if you don't. If you know Dark Souls, you know what we're gonna do. And you probably know what armor we're gonna get. Thanks to my not so subtle hints. You know, I actually wonder if you can summon players for Gwendolyn. I've never tried. That would be a bit pointless, but whatever. So, 
originally I was going to join Dark Moon on this character because I thought like a silver like a silvery weapon enchant the closest to that you can get is Dark Moon Blade. But then I realised I want to kill all the bosses on this character. And I think I pushed this the wrong way. Nope, I didn't, that's great. I want to kill all the bosses, and of course that includes Dark Moon Gwyndolin, who is a boy, not a girl, and is voiced by a boy as well, despite sounding very feminine. And there's Gwyn, and ta -da. because we have the um, Dark Moon Seance Ring, equipping that makes that wall disappear. And yeah, it's another sort of random thing. Wolf wing wing. And we're gonna equip this because it has slightly more magic defense and Halt! This is the tomb of the great Lord Gwyn. Tarnished it shall not be by the feet of men. If thou art a true disciple of the dark sun, cast aside thine eye. Hear the voice of mine self, Windelin, and kneel before me. O disciple of the dark sun, thou hast, if thou shalt, a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Gwynevere, a blade, then I shall protect thee. We just did that for the achievement. Very well. We shall not need speech. Exit here and follow thine own design. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to follow my own design and do this. What foolishness! Why trespasseth upon the great lord's tomb whilst thou art a disciple of the dark sun? I'm not. The. Mark the words of myself, Gwyndolin. Thou shalt not go up. Yeah, whatever. Very strange boss, this. It's like playing Ikaruga. Ikaruga. However you pronounce it. <laughs> it's like a top down shooter, you know? Pew pew. Oh! Jesus Christ! Okay, that was silly of me, but man! <laughs> that damage! Wow. He, uh, okay, he punished us, fair enough. Let's, uh, let's be sneaky, because I think, yep, and, uh, we need it, so let's put it on. And we can still fast roll. We're just doing this for some defense because man, that hurt. Okay, let's see if you can punish us again. What foolishness! You just said that. Why trespass? Yeah, I don't care. Where are my souls, man? Where are my souls? Oh, there they are. Perf. Okay, we'll wait a bit. I think he can actually shoot us whilst we're... Ow, yeah, he can. But you know what, I think we can just roll past this. Screw your bow. I don't care if it's turbo fire, man. And you can keep hitting him whilst he's teleporting away. Okay, we're going to do this. And now we're just going to roll through his stuff. Good, good. So far, so good. See, we're hitting him even though he wasn't actually there. It, it's probably better if I don't... Um, if I don't... Uh, da -da -da. Whoops. Yeah, probably better if I don't use that. Whoa! 
Wow, that hurt, man. I keep forgetting that Gwyndolin can actually wreck your shit if you let him. So, I mean, just because he's using a bow that looks piddly as fuck, doesn't mean he can't wreck you. What? What's that? Oh. I didn't actually recognize the animation. No! Bitch. So this corridor isn't actually infinite. There is actually an end to it. It just takes quite some time. It just takes some time to reach it. Oh, we're not going to be able to get him this time. He's being a bitch. Oh, come on, tosser. Just let me hit you and stuff. I promise I won't kill you. Yep, and that's what happens when you fail to roll. Ugh, really? Yeah, that's it. Keep trying to shoot me. Die, die, die. Okay, one more. Then we've got him. Kaboom! Ha! Oh, a heretic, swathed in dark, an eternal curse upon thee. Uh, I think being undead is an eternal curse already. Just saying. I'm just saying. Ha! And there we go. Dark Sun Gwyndolin. Was I calling him Dark Moon Gwyndolin? Whatever. So, Gwyndolin is a boy that was raised as a girl, and he wears a dress and he has snakes in his dress. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a nice window. What have we got in here? Oh yeah, nothing. So, Gwyndolin just sits in this chair. Forever. Sunlight Blade. That's what we wanted, and so is this. Brass. And... Let's put it on. Not bad, huh? Can't fast roll in it yet, but that's no problem. And now we're silver. And if you've been looking at the thumbnails of my video, you might recognize this. And yes, this is modded. But hey, that's all we wanted. And now we're, uh, we pretty much have all the weapons we need. Oh, actually, you know what? There's one more. But, uh, hey, I think this looks pretty neat. Actually, the first time I've seen it since I modded it in. Okay, I didn't actually mod it, but, you know. We're going to need a lot of uh, endurance if we want to be able to fast roll in this, but we'll see. So, <laughs> let's see if... Uh, our alter ego approves of this. I'm going to assume that she doesn't. Let's have a look though. So oh snap. How dare you produce a blade upon a deity? How did you ever get this far? I shall end your suffering here and now. It is the least that I can do. Yep. So she's using Dark Moon Blade, and it hits like nothing else, man. Come on. Let me parry you. My armor's better than yours. Oh, come on, you cheeky... Actually, you know what I can do? Your buff only lasts like 30 seconds or a minute. I can just run away, because you're slow. And I am fast.
This man is a threat, Master Gwendolyn. And hey, we also get another soul from that, which is good. But we can't use the Anolondo bonfire. But that's okay, because there's two more here. And you know what? We'll be lazy. And use that. And we'll reinforce our Estus and then we'll call it a day. Where are we going to go next? Hmm. I think we'll fight a creature with more than one head, shall we say. And this is Silvery Sivermont signing off after I increase my uh, faith. Okay. See you next time. Grass ruined my uh, signing off. See, see you next time.